welcome to topic of the day in today's video we shall be discussing about cop 27 including loss and damage in the main agenda so the ongoing climate change conference cop 27 included the issue of loss and damage in its formal main agenda for the first time ever the conference of the parties cop 27 of the united nations framework convention on climate change that is unfccc is being held from 6th of november till 18th november 2022 in sharm el sheikh egypt so let us discuss what is loss and damage loss and damage refers to the costs the rich and developed countries should pay to the poorer nations that have made negligible contribution to the pollution but are more vulnerable to extreme climate events for example the devastating floods in pakistan recently so let us discuss the basis of loss and damage that is polluter pays principle now the demand for compensation for the loss and damage from climate disasters is an extension of the universally acknowledged polluter pays principle this principle makes the polluter liable for paying not just for the cost of remedial action but also for compensating the victims of environmental damage caused by their actions now let us talk about the historical responsibility in the climate change framework the burden of responsibility falls on those rich countries that have contributed most of the greenhouse gas emissions since 1850 generally considered to be the beginning of the industrial age historical responsibility is important because carbon dioxide remains in the atmosphere for hundreds of years and it is cumulative accumulation of this carbon dioxide that causes global warming now let us talk about the contribution of countries to the greenhouse gas emission if we talk about the developed countries the united states and the european union including the uk account for over 50% of all the emissions during this time if russia canada japan and australia are included the combined contribution goes past 65% or almost 2/3 of all the emissions now talking about the developing countries a country like india currently the third largest emitter accounts for only 3% of the historical emissions china which is the world's biggest emitter for over 15 years now has contributed about 11% to total emissions since 1850 now let us talk about unf triple c and loss and damage the un framework convention on climate change unf ccc the 1994 international agreement that lays down the broad principles of the global effort to fight climate change acknowledges differentiated responsibility of nations it makes it clear that rich countries must provide both the finance and the technology for developing nations to help tackle climate change however the unf triple c does not mention loss and damage in 2009 developed countries agreed to provide us dollar 100 billion every year from 2020 to help developing nations fight climate change however they are struggling to fulfill this promise now let us talk about the warsaw international mechanism The Warsaw International Mechanism for Loss and Damages set up in 2013 was the first formal acknowledgement of the need to compensate developing countries struck by climate disasters. But according to critics, WIM was not providing any real solution to address the problem. The discussions under WIM merely focused on enhancing knowledge, strengthening dialogue and building technical expertise, and still no money was on offer. Now the question is why rich countries are resisting this first loss and damage claims can easily spiral into billions of dollars or even more according to a recent report by the UN office the united states alone is estimated to have inflicted more than dollar 1.9 trillion in damages to other countries due to its emissions also there are practical difficulties in estimating how much a country has actually suffered due to actions of others then there are non economic losses as well including loss of lives displacement and migration health impacts and damage to cultural heritage however a few countries have made small funding commitments for loss and damage these include denmark and scotland and the belgian region of wallonia 
So this was a little bit about the topic. Now let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements regarding principle of loss and damage. First, the ongoing climate change conference COP27 of the UNFCCC being held in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt included the issue of loss and damage in its formal main agenda for the first time ever. Second, the Warsaw International Mechanism for Loss and Damages set up in 2013 was the first formal acknowledgement of the need to compensate developing countries stuck by climate disasters. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So, as we know, both of the statements are correct regarding principle of loss and damage and the COP27. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, that is both 1 and 2. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. You can also check out the daily current affairs section on our website for further details. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.